In this video, we'll be talking about the inject and debug node. Uh, inject node is basically used to inject the data into the flow. So as you can see in the info tab, pressing the button on the left side of the node allows a message on a topic to be injected into the flow. Here, this is the button which will get activated once I press deploy. So when I press this, the output will be the timestamp that is uh, the current time in milliseconds since 1970. So it allows the message whatever has been in the payload to be forwarded. In order to view the output, I use the debug node and I connect it with the input. And then, and then I press the deploy button. When I press the deploy button and I press the timestamp, I can see in the debug tab that the output is here. In order to change its uh, data type, I just press on it and I can see the time and date here. So this is how this basically works. Now, in order to deactivate the debug node, like even though it's there in the flow, but deactivate it, I just press the button here. So it will get deactivated. And even though I press the data, the data cannot be seen here. I clear the debug node tab. And now in order to view the complete message object that what has been passed from the inject node into the debug, I just press a complete message object, press done and deploy. Here, when I press this, I can see Sorry, I've deactivated it. I need to deactivate it. And then I press. Now I can see the message ID, the topic that has been in the inject node while the payload message. Here, this is the node. Now I rename the topic as data. Press done. And here I give the node a name called output node. And press done. Deploy. Clear the debug tag. Now I press the input. Now. I can see the topic has been assigned to data. The payload is this, while the message ID is this. While the output node can be highlighted, you can see that it gets highlighted when I hover over it. So this is how the timestamp basically works. Suppose I need to send a string. I just type hello world, press done, deploy. Yeah, now I can see the data, hello world. Suppose I only want to see hello world, just go to message.payload, press done. Since in payload, I have written hello world, only hello world can be seen. Now I can send string as well as odd numbers. I write one, two, three, four, three, three, four. Okay, I press done. Now you can see the data is one, two, three. You can see here it is in number format while here it is in an array of strings. And I can send a Boolean either of true or false. Done, deploy. You can see here I press false it's sending me false suppose I want to send true done deploy I give true suppose I want to inject the data whenever I deploy I just need to select inject once and start and whenever I press deploy the data will be injected suppose I want to repeat it in an interval of one second I just press this done so it will be injected every one second Yeah, now you can see it's been injected every one second. Suppose I want to use a global variable and uh, in order to use a global variable, I need to initialize it first. So here I use the function called global dot set for the variable string data, which is a global variable, which will store the data one, two, three, four, five in the format of a string. I press done. I press delete. Here I take the variable name, the string data done, deploy. And here I call the string function and I press deploy. In order, when I press this, now you can see it's printing one, two, three, four, five because it's in the continuous uh, loop of interval. I press none, I press deploy, delete. Yeah, here you can see now when I press this, one, two, three, four, five, which I have defined here. Suppose I make the string data into hello world done deploy. Now the data will be one, two, three, four, five because I have not initialized here again. So I need to inject this. Now the string data variable is storing the value hello world. Now I come to the flow one and I press deploy. Now you can see it's printing hello world. So basically this is how inject and the debug node works. 
kindly comment down if you have any doubts thank you